it's like chocolate times like yeah. infinity. Hey, who's away from me? Why am I still eating this? Dude, these cupcakes are so light. I'm not gonna get sick. Mm. Then you're drunk. Welcome to an extra special cheat day because Drew and I are here in New York City. Mm -hmm. And not only are we in New York City, but we are in the official a fish, a fish, a fish, delish kitchen <sighs> where all the most amazing foods and desserts are made. And also because we're in the delish kitchen, something tells me that this food will actually be uh, appetizing. Fresh, warm, <laughs> I think ready so. to eat I think when so. it's given to us, mm -hmm. right in front of us, mm -hmm. um, which honestly, in and of itself, is something to celebrate. Yep. But um, we are celebrating a brand new cookbook from Delish and it's desserts, which Drew and I absolutely love. Desserts. And you guys, we're in the kitchen where the ideas, the recipes were created. Mm -hmm. They were dreamt up and it's kind of incredible to like be here yep. and now get to try some of these desserts for ourselves. Also you guys, we're very lucky because we have Lena here today, the Test Kitchen food editor, which is a very big deal. She's going to be serving us the desserts personally. Let's sweep this baby up. <laughs> So I'm gonna start you guys off with some big old peanut butter cookies. Oh, mm -hmm. And they are stuffed with peanut butter as well. Yay, thank God. you so oh, much. Lord, Lord, <laughs> man. my favorite way to eat peanut butter. Mm. This is the thing, is I cookies. like that they don't look like normal peanut butter cookies. These look way more appetizing. I feel like a lot of peanut butter cookies are like crackly. Yeah, did you say apper, appetizing? Did I say? This is appetizing, appetizing? These look way more appetizing, appetizing. Appetizing? They look like sugar cookies. They do look like sugar cookies. Um, I think they are kind of made a little bit differently than most peanut butter cookies I've ever had because they are like dusted with sugar crystals. Mm. But they're stuffed. I'm excited. Should we cheers it up and try it? Cheers. cheers. Mm. Incredible. Mm -hmm. This is better than a Girl Scout cookie. I can't believe those words just came out of my mouth. I feel like it's just the right amount of peanut butter. I'm not gonna lie, when you said stuffed with peanut butter, I was a little nervous because I was like, oh, what? Stuffed with peanut butter? This is Perfect. Oh, it's just perfect. Holy, I don't even really like peanut butter cookies, but this is the best peanut butter cookie I've ever had in my life. Oh, it just mm -hmm. oozes, it just melts in your mouth. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Yeah, I want to keep eating it, but I feel like it's a bad idea for me to No, but we really need to slow down because we have so much more food to eat. This is our Moscow Mule Cupcake. Ooh, nice. Oh my god. It's got a little, it's got ginger beer in the cupcake itself. Oh my gosh. And then there's a little vodka in the, in the yes. buttercream. I love Moscow Mules. Yeah, me too, honestly. Um, ginger beer? Real talk, one of my absolute favorite things in the entire world. I also love how it's in like the little brass cup. Yes! Moscow Mule's coming. I know, it's like perfect, it's like perfect. It reminds me of a Moscow Mule for sure. If I knew you could put alcohol in frosting, I'd be doing that all the time. Dude, I think Delicious is really good at infusing things with vodka because when Emil and I were also trying Delish foods, we had Oreo yeah. jello shots infused with vodka. Infused with vodka. Yeah. You could get grandma lit at the cookout because she would eat five of these and she would have no idea there's vodka in it. See, I feel like that's where my skills like die when it comes to cooking. I can't infuse things. Me neither. Like I always mm -hmm. wonder how they get flavors in other things right. that didn't have the flavor to begin with. Right. Does that make sense? I also just can't cook, so there's that. No, you really can't. We really have to work on that. Did you take all the paper off? Yeah. Weird. Well, I didn't want to get paper in my mouth. You're stressing me out now. I'm gonna do I always it. eat a cupcake with a fork also. Yeah, so do I. Mm -hmm. All right, okay, ready? Let's do it. See paper in my mouth. Wow. 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 Wow, that's really cool. It's the um, the frosting. Yeah, it's got like lime also infused. Again, infused. Mm -hmm. It's refreshing. It's really, really refreshing, which is something you never usually say about frosting. Yeah. It's like, it's, it's very light. It's not gonna... This is not gonna take you out. Mm -mm. Which is also a, a dangerous thing because it's vodka infused and you'd be like, dude, these cupcakes are so light, I'm not gonna get sick. Mm -hmm. 
then you're drunk. I like that you can taste the ginger in it. Mm -hmm. I like that you can taste the lime in the frosting. Like I can taste all of the different ingredients and it really does feel like like very similar to a Moscow Mule. Because mm -hmm. when you drink a Moscow Mule, you can like taste a little bit of lime, a little bit of ginger. This is awesome. So I have some Sorting Hat cupcakes for you guys. Are either of you oh. Harry Potter fans? <laughs> These are so cool. I'm, I'm a huge Harry Potter fan. Okay, these are great. so cool. In the center of these cupcakes, there's a colorful frosting that will indicate which house you're sorted in. No way. That's really cute. Wait, yeah. that's, yeah, that's so really cool. cool. Okay. I hope you get your hands. Before eating this cupcake, yes. what do you think your house is? Well, I got sorted mm -hmm. on the official sorting test online mm -hmm. um, when I was like 11 or 12. And I was sorted into Ravenclaw. Which Interesting. I naturally like was really bummed about when it happened. Yeah. Because you know, I was eleven and I was like, this is BS. Like I was really upset about it. Mental that one, I'm telling you. But now as I've gotten a little bit older, um, I see how that is possible, but I still have some sort of issues with it. But I'm also like a giant nerd when it comes to these types of things. So I'm just like, they got it wrong. Um, I don't actually know what my house is, but I would assume that you we would be the same house. Or not, and I'm only laughing because I took that test like last year. You did? <laughs> Wait, so what house are you? Hufflepuff. Oh, really? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. See, I always assumed that we'd be the same house because we're both Aquarians, so I'm like, it works the same way, you know? That's, That's how funny. I told myself it worked, at least. But I guess now this is really gonna be the ultimate deciding factor here. to do this properly, yeah. I think on the count of three, let's take a big bite together so that we both find out together, okay? okay. okay? Why am I nervous? <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> Did you take a bite? Oh, yep. One, two, two, three. three. Oh, whoa. What's oh, blue? What's blue? What's blue? What blue? Okay, so technically this is Ravenclaw. But also technically, Ravenclaw was sometimes more of a purpley color. Oh. So I guess this is still undecided. We're just gonna have to keep trying things until we figure out what house we're supposed to be in. Janae, the cupcakes don't lie. That just solidified your fate. The test and the cupcakes said you're Ravenclaw, you're Ravenclaw. Next. Our Santa's trash. Ooh, I love Santa. that. So they've got sprinkles, they've got potato chips, pretzels, mm. kind of a mixed bag. Who came up with this later? I think it was actually kind of a group effort. We all kind mm. of have different ideal cookies, salty, mm, yeah. sweet, our favorite snacks. So we just kind of, it was an, amal an amalgamation of everyone. I love it. And it's Santa Claus because it's it's green and red. Yeah, it was, it was around holiday time when we developed it. So we thought it would be a good nice. catch all, you know? Yeah, oh, nice. this is awesome. I love this. Oh, so cute. Thank you. Thank you. I get so excited about these because I love a salty sweet combination. Mm -hmm. Like I love mm -hmm. just pretzels and chocolate or I always put M&Ms in my popcorn when I go to the movie theater. Like I'm that person that needs to have a good balance, you know? So yeah. this speaks to my soul. It just looks like it's gonna be delicious. And also if you leave these out for Santa, it's gonna leave you some good stuff. Yeah, he's gonna be there still when you wake up in the morning. I know. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. What do you think? It hits. It hit me way after. I love these. I also feel like this is really good to entertain with because wow. it's an option for people who don't like overly sweet things. Are you kidding me? Opposite, I was gonna say. Really, I don't feel like it's that sweet. It like punches you in the face. Oh, I got a lot of chip in that bite. Maybe it was a mixture of like the salt with the sweet. The yeah. aftertaste was like boom. Because I'm trying to figure out what Lena said was all in this. It's pretzels. Yes. So like, uh, like just looking at it, we can see it's pretzels. Yes. Uh -huh. Potato chips. Chocolate. Chocolate chips, sprinkles, and then like salt. There's sea salt on it as well. Yeah, there's definitely sea salt in there. And it's a sugar cookie. And it's a sugar cookie. Holy moly. Yeah, this is chips? All... chips too. Chips. So this is the type of thing I think is good to have as an option for parties. Yeah. And also if you just want your guests to bounce off the walls and yeah. drink a lot of water. So these are topped with cookie dough made with almond flour. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Enjoy. Oh, thank thank you. you. They look 
looks so thick. This is like a like a thick brownie. But I do love how clean they are, you yeah, know? Yeah, they're very nice. I, I also feel like every piece has the same amount of chocolate chips, which is wild. I feel like that's the biggest indication that yes, we are in the delish kitchen. Because only wild. in the delish kitchen, kitchen would it be this perfect. The OCD of it all, I like it. No, it does something to it. Should we bite into them? Yeah, these are huge. I'm nervous, to be honest. You ready? Yeah. This is a very weird way to do this. Okay, ready? Yeah. You get it? Yeah. It's delicious. Of course. It's delicious. You need like a gallon of milk right now? Oh my God. <laughs> it's like boom, boom, boom. It's yeah, a it's a lot. Whoa, man. Delicious. It is a lot. I feel like this is a perfectly made brownie because it is just the right amount of crispy on the outside, but mm -hmm. not crispy like where it's even close to being burnt. Mm -hmm. so usually what happens when I make brownies, like I have to always avoid getting the very outer layer because that part's always like burnt. Kind of, like crispy, like almost like, like you're fighting through like a potato chip, like it breaks. Mm -hmm. Which well. I know, but like I want to get the middle not like gushy. So this is amazing because the middle is the perfect texture. It's perfect. And the outside is also the perfect texture. Yeah. When you have this dessert, you truly don't need to eat any other dessert. Mm -hmm. When you eat this, you don't need to eat any of your meal. Like you're done after this. Yeah, for sure. Like this could be at a restaurant where they give you like a really small dessert, you just share it. Yes. One hundred percent small, but like you take a bite and you're like, oh, that's fine. And we have <gasps> our Death by Chocolate oh Brownie. Oh my gosh. Oh, all right, pee me. What an appropriate name. This is an exclusive for you guys. Oh, Not wow. on the web yet, cool. just in the book. I hope you enjoy. Lena, are you going to carry us back to our hotel? Yeah, just get on my back. <laughs> Let's go. Wow. Wow. Okay, it so looks this is like, beautiful. it really does. This is like 100% cooked, like in the skillet Dude. itself. What do you think about the name, Death by Chocolate? I think it's very accurate. I think that's yeah. what's about to happen. Any last words? I'm scared. This, I think the fact that the fork feels heavy is a sign that I, I, am, I am wearing down. Oh, I figured it out. That must be dark chocolate, milk chocolate, and white chocolate. Oh, OK. I want to definitely get some white chocolate in there, because I love white you chocolate. You really do? Yes. I think out of all the chocolates, that's my least favorite. Really? Yeah. I love, oh, man. When I go to yogurt land, I literally don't really get yogurt. It's a whole bunch of white chocolate chips in the cup. You know, you can just buy a bag of white chocolate chips, it's right? It's not the same. It's like the rebelliousness oh, of it all, you know? This is the way I like a brownie to feel because it's like, oh my gosh, there's like gushiness in it. That's Dripping. gotta be like fudge, right? You ready? Uh, yes, I'm ready. Describe the journey to the people. Imagine a brownie, mm -hmm. but with cookie essence. Yeah. Fudgy. And just like when you think of chocolate, amateur. It's like chocolate times like yeah. infinity. And surprisingly enough, even though there's so much chocolate, it doesn't all blend together and become like one samey type of chocolate taste. No. And you know what it reminds me of? Like a lava cake, you know, like a chocolate lava yeah. cake, like a molten lava cake. Have you ever had the chocolate cake at Costco? That big one yes, with I the have. layers and it's like, yeah. Have you ever had a molten thing. lava cake from Chili's? No. You haven't? I've only been at Chili's one time. That's what everybody says from because you're from California. That's oh. Midwestern people. We understand that. We understand the Chili's life. They lives away from me. Why am I still eating this? Oh my gosh, it's so good. Do you have a favorite? I know we tried a lot of things, but what do you think spoke to your your stomach the most? It's a tie between this, Death yeah. by Chocolate, and the peanut butter cookies. Right? Peanut butter cookies were so good. I have to agree with you because peanut butter is not necessarily my go-to cookie preference. Yeah. But because I enjoyed that so much, I'm like, oh my gosh, there's actually peanut butter cookie good enough that I would I would choose that over my usual go-tos. I'm just saying words at this point. Like, I don't know what's coming out of my mouth. Some bomb cookies, which is mean to say. <laughs> <laughs> what, you, what you means to say. We have to wrap, we have to wrap this up. You guys, if 
if you loved all these desserts, the visual of them, yes. make sure you purchase that delish dessert cookbook. It's right here. This is what it looks like. We're going to link it in the description below so yes. you can try all of these delicious desserts at home. <sighs> and uh, we will see you next time. Also, wish us luck today when we hit the bathroom. Or visit my grave because Death by Chocolate took me out. Bye. Oh man, that was some delicious, clever style. But if you want even more savory treats, click right on over there. I don't even know if there's food in there, but the people in there are also tasty. Also, subscribe.